morning guys, welcome back to the channel. And we're currently trudging around on the, on the big lake. So uh, anyone who watched the last vlog, managed to get our target fish from the, uh, the smaller lake. And now we're hopefully get, get amongst some of them bigger ones on the, uh, on the main lake. So anyway, that's what we're doing. We've only got a night. I've only got a night. I've got to be off first thing in the morning, um, unfortunately. But it's Friday night. Work's done for another week. We can chill out and uh, enjoy the night. So sun's setting quite quick already, as you can probably see from the trees. It ain't going to be long and it's going to be dark. So I've probably got about another hour and up. Ooh, nearly, nearly rolled the barrow. An uh, hour and a half and it'll be dark o'clock. So I'm trying to get a move on. So anyway, right, I'll be back in touch when we know where we are. We've got ourselves a swim. All right, see you in a bit. guys so i'll be trying to be really quick because that sun is dropping very fast so anyway so this this swim is swim eight so we've decided on this swim eight botany bay i think it is and um, yeah it's quite a, it's quite a sort of shallowy plateau if you like and then it drops off either side into quite deep water i think it's about 22 foot of memory it drops off quite gradual but it drops off um and i think when i got the deeper air last time i think it's about four foot four or five foot i think and then it's obviously shallow shallow sort of you know shallow shelves off but yeah that's where we are if i swing you around this is uh this is obviously the the plateau as it comes out here and then that side you've got the deeper water and obviously around this around this corner here you've got a lot of deep water but that's about 22 foot out there and this, this is one of the shallow arms that takes you around towards the totem pole so that's one of the sort of shallow arms that we fished before so yeah that's that's where we're at I need to get a wiggle on because it is, uh, yeah, it is blimmin', the sun's dropping quick. So I'm going to get the rods out, have a lead about, see if we can find anything, and um, yeah, drop some rigs on there. Right, be back in touch when we're sorted. See you in a bit. Morning, right, guys. So what I'm going to do? I've had a little lead about, found a nice little spot, and it is there. Bang, and that is really, really firm. Not far out. It's about we're talking about four and a half foot here, and. That is lovely, and it's over a bit of gravel. Nice. And uh, I think that's me. I've had a little lead about, and there's, there's bits of clumpy weed. I can feel I'm now, oh, there we go. It's past a bit of weed. But there's nothing there, you know, that would, uh, would worry me putting a rig in there. So, um, yeah, it's all very sort of uniformed, really. But this is sort of a plateau, this area, out in front. And then as you go out a little bit further, you're right, you hit the deep water. It's about 22 foot, I think, off memory. So I'm hoping, yeah, it's lovely and firm. That's a banger. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna go in there. And uh, yeah, let's get these in. So I'm probably gonna go, I'm gonna go three little D-rigs on the end of that and drop them on that nice firm ground. Fingers crossed, guys. It will, whoops, without falling in. It will uh, do, us a, do us a bite.
Right, so the rods are out guys. A bit of a rush, a bit of a mad rush, uh, but we've got them out before the old current bun's gone in. So uh, yeah, I can chill out a little bit now. But what I've, uh, what I've done, so I'll just swing you around very, very quickly. Not a million miles, to be honest, from where this, this little coot is. Um, that's all the tree in the distance, what I'm using as my marker. And I've got three in a, on a spot, to be honest, probably all three within a rod length. So um, yeah, that's what I've gone for. I've got three little, three little D-rigs um, and the white amino ester from Pure Bait Concept. So that's what I'm using on them. And I'm actually gonna put some, uh, some crumb and whole boilies out there as well, which are the amino ester. And I've actually, I've been soaking them in the uh, active liquid and I've also put some of the prep powder on there as well. So hopefully that will draw the fish in. So it's on about for four and a half foot, I'm guessing. I haven't got the deep out there yet. But about four and a half foot, I'd, I'd imagine, um, on that spot. So fingers crossed. But yeah, I will get some bait out. I haven't done yet. I've literally just got the rods out. And uh, yeah, I need uh, a, I need a cold beer first. So um, so anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's sorted. That lot ain't, because that is like an absolute bomb's gone off. So I need to get preps. But first and foremost, nice cold beer. Can only mean one thing, beer of the week. Right then guys, this week's beer of the week. Now special mention goes to Matt Lockett, who uh, sent me a text, good friend of mine, and um, suggested this beer. Now it's one that I have um, I have tried, but not for a hell of a long time. So uh, I was just in the garage filling up with fuel, with fuel remortgaged for the fuel. It's that expensive, but anyway, filled up, and I saw uh, a couple of these on the shelf, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna grab a couple for tonight. So without further ado, this week's beer of the week is Grolsch. So yeah, I've not had one of these for a long time. So as far as I know, it's a 4%. Let's have a little look. Uh, what does it say? Imagine flipping lights dropped, terrible. Um, 4%. <laughs> and that's about it. It's just got the ingredients. So yeah, it does not say anything else. That's good, isn't it? So premium Pilsner beer. So that's it. 16.15. Gross, but I love the bottle. Good <laughs> quality, little cap. You could almost drink half and leave it in the fridge, couldn't you? And just reseal it. But anyway, let's get stuck in. Oh, there we go. Pop that off. These little ones. And then you pull this round. You go pop. Woohoo! Lovely jubbly. Cheers, Matt. Nice one. That's nice, actually. For a 4%, I'm not usually a fan. But, um, yeah, that, that ain't too bad. Hang on, let's have another go. I don't know whether it's just because it's in the glass bottle and you know always fresh in the bottles, but that's quite nice. Not too, not too packed. Well, obviously, it being four percent, you wouldn't expect it to, but yeah, it hasn't got sort of a strong aftertaste. There we go. Yeah, as far as uh, as far as four four percent go, that's right up there. Lovely jubbly, right? Cheers, Matt. This week's beer of the week, Grosh. Well guys, if you haven't tried it, get on the old cross. Beautiful, yeah, lovely that. So anyway, as you can see, I haven't done anything yet. Just having me nice old grosh. But that is stunning, look at that. The sun's just gone beyond the trees now, over the other side. So um, yeah, we are losing light rapidly, but I needed a, I needed a beer. It's Friday night after all. But yeah, I need to, uh, I need to get my house up, get everything sorted. Mm. And then, I can, uh, I can chill out. I've got a lovely curry tonight. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm going to chill out and watch the football. But anyway, I need to get this lot sorted. And uh, yeah, get some bait out. But anyway, guys, obviously it's going to be a short session. I can't get loads of footage. But fingers crossed we've got something to show you in the night. If not, first thing in the morning. So fingers, fingers crossed. But anyway, right. If anything happens, guys, I'll let you know. If not, I'll catch you in the morning. Cheers.
Unfortunately, very, very, very quiet night. So, um, yeah, nothing to report on that front. Woke up by a couple of bleeps, but it's a little drop back, so but nothing's, nothing's materialised. Could have been coots in the margin here, running through the lines, I don't know. But, yeah, very quiet, unfortunately. So, obviously, location incorrect. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of water on here, um, and we seriously need to find them. I have seen a couple of shows. Probably, I don't know if you can make out the distance, that's one. It's, it's well out of my water. Don't know, it could have been bream, but yeah, apart from that, I haven't seen anything. So unfortunately, guys, I've got to start getting packed up and uh, make my way way home. So um, unfortunately, it's going to be a blank, but I think as we're going into this, this winter period, there might be a few. So, yep, it's got to be, uh, we've got to be patient and hopefully we can, we can find them and get amongst them. But it was so mild, I was just hoping they might have been in the you know, the slightly shallower water on this on this point where I could maybe intercept them coming in and out if they are travelling down the the sort of arm there, but wasn't to be. So anyway, on to next week. So we will be back out, but we'll be doing it again, giving it another go. So only, only Friday nights, unfortunately, at the moment, with football on Saturday morning, so no longer sessions and work is chocker. So I haven't got a chance to get a, a 24 hour in or anything like that. So it's limited time, but we'll keep going. So, yeah, thanks again, guys, for all the support. All the uh, Beer of the Week suggestions, we are ticking through them. I have got a list. And we will certainly, uh, when I find them, we'll tick through them. So keep them coming in. And, yeah, the nice support, guys. I appreciate every every comment. And I will get back to everyone. So if you haven't done, please subscribe. We're nearly on 3,000 now. So I think we're only about 50 off that. So what I'll probably do, if we get to 3,000 after this, this vlog on the next one, we'll probably do some sort of competition. Um, I did try and do one at the 2000 mark, but unfortunately the guy that was going to join me was, in, I think he was up north, and he couldn't, he just couldn't get the time, and it just didn't work out. So we'll we'll try and do a, you know, another one for the um, for the 3000, you know, subscribers. So that's what we do. So anyway, until next time, guys. Have a great week. Have a nice weekend, and uh, I'll see you next time on the bank. <laughs>